Hello, Insanies, and welcome to this week's episode of Mean Inspiration with me as your guest, Annie Letterman, also the host. I'll be playing two characters. <laughs> one will be a girl and one will be a boy. Just kidding. I'm just going to be myself. And we have Todd on the keys. That's not what it's called. What do you call the board? On the board. Yo, yo, yo. Todd on the board, bringing in his New Jersey trash mentality, which honestly fits the show. Fits the, <laughs> fits all of it, honestly. Um, I had a crazy week. I Let me, de-glasses. Ooh. Don't want to hurt those earrings. <laughs> Those diamonds that Whitney paid for me to get in my ear. And then every time I see her, she pushes them in really hard and painfully. And uh, she goes, no, you have to push them in. It's like, yeah, uh, did you wash your fingers? Like, what? Did you just get my ear holes COVID? Are you? But I think she's asserting dominance over the piercing. She goes, I, I got you that and I'll make it hurt to remind you. I've had quite a week. Um... I had a new name for myself. Oh, I'm the queen of receiving. It's me, your leader, Annie Letterman, your leader. <laughs> and uh, what else? I'm the queen of receiving unsolicited pictures of your peen. I got a picture today that was, it's as though this man was a woman. Okay. He laid atop a bed long wise and he, um, you could just see like his from below his armpits down to like right, like mid thigh facing back. So you saw like the line in his back where his spine is. And then you just saw so much hair. And then his butt was like very femininely round, but so, so hairy. And um, and kind of like sque it looked like he was maybe like squeezing in a little. Not enough where you get those like cellulite bumps, but like just like just his ass was posing. His ass was doing mirror face. His ass was doing selfie face. <laughs> His ass knew it was on camera. It was doing that little extra little perk thing. Um, I showed it to my assistant, Todd. What, what did you think of that picture? I'm just trying to figure out what ethnicity he is. I'm going to go Armenian. I went with Indian. I went with the hair pattern and he looked like, what are those things that are half man, half horse? What are those called? Senator. He was very senator like because it was the back was very smooth and then it was just like full like ass bush and it was so good. Maybe can we blur it a little bit and show it or do you think it's not allowed? You could try. Maybe I'll just blur the whole thing and you can just kind of like see how he was perched it's so good i just don't know what people want from that what what the end game is do they want me to like fall in love with their ass they're like oh my god that is one perky hairy ass and that's my thing like they're just like on the off chance that maybe that's my thing and then i'll be like oh my god i need to know more about this guy he did a lot of other there were like other wiener ones that i didn't really look at because i really don't like the dick pics so i don't look at them um but the ass one made me laugh Maybe and, they think that you peg dudes. Oh, so he was like presenting his asshole to be pegged. It was. Listen, Maybe. if I was going to poke a thing, it would be that round. The hair seems like it would be an obstacle, though. Maybe like, honestly, if you really want me, maybe shave like a uh, shave a middle finger like the logo in where your ass is so I can get in there and peg it. Because how I don't know how you get through the ass hair. Do you have you partaken in? um but stuff with hair, HBH, Harry Butthole, female? No. You not haven't? That I recall. Have you ever had a problem like getting through the butt hair? No. No but problem. It, you're young. I still got time. I believe in you guys. We're actually going to set up a GoFundMe for Todd. We're going to make sure he gets a very hairy asshole that he has to bushwhack through. I don't know. I don't have much. I don't, I'm not into the butt things, the butthole things, which by the way is a question that all of you ask every single time I've done a and a ever is about asshole stuff, but I'm not, that's not my thing. I myself can't partake because I'm allergic to a lot of different foods and beverages and you know, sex is my asshole's alone time. It's a smoke break. 
you don't want to fuck around with it. You never know if you push the wrong thing, if it's a squirter, you know what I mean? It's not the side you want squirting. Okay. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I feel like the YouTube algorithms like don't be dirty in the first three minutes. And I'm always like. You just can't through. say curse words, really. But it's past three minutes, I think. Cuss words. Um, it's been a it's been a wild week. Uh, if you guys are following my Instagram, you're curious, you have questions, you have no clue what's going on. Um, it's been a wild week, a lot less wild than you probably think, but I don't even know if I want to tell you the truth. I don't know if I want your imaginations to take you places. Maybe I'll give you, um, you know what, maybe I'll give you a multiple choice and you guys can choose your own adventure and choose the life you wish I had. Um, now I'm going to read, do our ad read. Okay. Now this is our segment. We have one segment and it's called. Surprise sponsor. And again, I want to let everyone know that these are very serious. They're giving me tons of money and I'm super rich off this. Okay. This is real. Surprise sponsor. Yo, what up, my little chicken heads? Nervous. I'm alienating my vegans already. You ever go out with your bitch and she all like, damn, daddy. Why ain't you ever buy me nothing nice? And you be like, bitch, don't be all up on me like that. Well, I got the shit that you need. Buy Joanne's fake ass diamonds. That shit looks real, though. Put Joanne's fake ass diamonds on anything. I bet yo bitch gonna be hella happy. I be doing that shit for all my hoes. I ain't even stressing. Use promo code that shit look real for 50% off your third order. Joanne's fake ass diamonds. Keep your bitches in line. And that is the promo code again for 50% off is that shit look real. All caps, no spaces. And I want to like really give this to Joanne because a lot of people have these different products and and they want to keep it in the same area. But Joanne, what I like about her is she really like branches out. but when you think when you think that there's no connection, there actually is a fucking connection. All right. So we started off first. Well, we have Joanne. We already know Joanne's furniture. Okay. That's or fabric. Excuse me. That's she's very open about that. Now we also had Joanne's um jizz off. What was it called? Load remover. Load remover. Okay. Which is removing sticky substances. Uh we also had Joanne's turd. Stool softener. What was the last what was last week's? I don't remember. <laughs> it might be here. I don't know. Someone no, 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 will remember I'm in the comments. Someone I'm, will remember. I'm making a point. That's the M&M lyric. <laughs> okay, we don't have it. Yeah, it's but somewhere. here, the point was, Todd, I, you're fired. Uh, you will no longer be getting paid. Sorry. So anyway, so the cool thing is if you don't want to remove the load, what you can do is stick the fake ass diamonds on it and it actually will bedazzle her back. So if you get her in that pull out point right on her lower back, you can give her a temporary but exquisite tramp stamp made of Joanne's fake ass diamonds. And then if you want to get rid of it, you... Use the chisel sauce or whatever the fuck it is. But anyway, I love that Joanne's is really like I, I have stake in the in uh, the company now and we're doing great because everybody went to get those arts and crafts. Um, it's uh, ass to ass arts and crafts. I love Joanne's really good. Ass to mouth arts and crafts. Now we also I'm going to be enjoying speaking of ass and being allergic to things. I'm going to drink this stuff is really good. It does. I am allergic to um, coconut. And by allergic, it makes my asshole blast. But um, this actually tastes so good that I, I just, I just take it as a diet, a dietary juice supplement. Supplement. That wasn't really the word I was looking for, but we give juice Todd a chance. Your word we give Todd a chance every once in a while. Oh, people have been asking where Anthony is. It's COVID, guys. Okay, Anthony. This is my assistant. We get tested together. Anthony does not. Anthony works in a, um, 
what do you call it? What's close to old folks home? Uh, 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 oh, golf course. <laughs> It's literally a lot of elderly people. So I just, uh, God bless him. I love him after COVID. I can't wait to see his ass. I love him to death, but we don't see Anthony if he hasn't gotten tested because I don't think COVID's cute. When I want to lose weight, I enjoy a beverage I'm allergic to, but that is so delicious. It's so good. Caveman coffee is good. Look it up. Tate Fletcher, my boy, owns it. He's the best. He's a good dude. And the product's good, so I don't have to lie. All right, so today, uh, this week, I did, I went on some activities. I went up in a jet, but before that, I did go shooting at More and More Clay Pigeons. I don't know if that's the actual title of the show, of the place. Sporting Clays, More and More Sporting Clays. I got this hat for free from Corey, the owner. That's my boy. It's a family run business. They have his mother-in-law makes uh brittle in the winter. That's delicious. Chocolate brittle. Um, I had these little, if you look on my Instagram, I had these little um, clay, they made these little clay pins, these little miniature. They look like the clay discs. What are they called? Pigeons. Pigeons. And there were pins, so he made little nipples out of them. And that, those were made by his either his father or his stepdad or his uh, father-in-law. But the family is talented. They're great. And it's a fun place to go. Um, if you're not wearing one of these hats, you may be wearing a red hat. Just a little warning. Um, if you're triggered by that. And I'm not talking about Philly's hats. Also, why did Trump pick – he took pick Philly's hat color. What's up with that? Philly's probably pretty Trumpy though, right? I don't think so. Really? Who knows? I don't no. know. I'm pretty sure all of America's Trumpy and that everyone's just pretending they're not. I don't talk about politics though. I don't talk about them. Right, racist puppet? <laughs> Who came out as trans and is now on the alt left. Uh, trans racist puppet is like... So quarantined, believes none of the tests are real, is so cuckoo crazy um, on the left now that it's, I don't even know what to say. Okay, so hopefully you're not just tuning in and you understand what I'm talking about. And if you don't, catch up, bitches. What the fuck? There's a million inspirations to watch. Now, I wanted to call Al Schwartz and, and do an update and see if he still thinks I'm unfunny or if he thinks I'm funny again. I know he was starting to lean in to thinking I was funny and he had some ideas for me where he wanted me to go on stage with a partner where I pick a random person from the audience. They're my partner. I go on stage. I riff. I fuck with them. Uh, could be the worst idea in the world. Could be the best idea. I literally have no clue. I don't, I, I'll try it though. I listen to Al Schwartz. We also had a thing where Todd, I mean, someone said they looked up Al Schwartz and he died 20 years ago and he was born. He was he would be 110 years old. And then we look it up and it had some crossover information that he had told me. So I'm like, did someone did a 89 year old man lie to me and say he was a different man that was 110? Are there two Al Schwartzes who represented the same comedian back in the Borscht circuit? Or I don't know what this, we'll call him and find out. It was very scary. It was scary. I was like, I'm being haunted by an actual ghost. My ghost writer is a physical ghost. And whoever left that comment on that one, thank you so much because it really did. It sent me into a little bit of a Sherlock Holmes in and uh, I have no solution. I don't know what it is yet, but we'll call him and figure that out when I do this during the daytime because he goes to bed at like five because he's old. But I do love him. I appreciate that he doesn't really like my comedy. There's something really attractive about that. And uh, so we're still on. We're hot and heavy. And um, I haven't broken up with him yet. We're still an item. Okay, I'm going to take this hat off. Ugh, I didn't want to take a shower, so I put made my hair long instead. Do you guys like it? I'm, gonna, I'm testing out new looks. We'll see. What we're up to. I was inspired by uh, little Esther said I looked like someone and dressed like someone today. That was pretty good. Let's call her up and have her tell us. Do you think she'll answer? 
If Esther doesn't answer me, it's because she's FaceTiming with her mom and her d old dog. Damn. What a fucking bitch. Oh my God, did you just see what Todd looks like? Asian, ew. <laughs> Well, we should also uh, apologize for last week not having the uh, the Patreon ending up on Patreon. Oh, because little Esther is a fucking diva and she had to leave early and it's, it's like, and then I had to go with her to do something. So it's like, I then I had to come back and I couldn't get it together. So we're doing all the Q&A here today. We also have a very exciting surprise for the Patreon. I meant here today. For the Patreon, sorry. We'll do a little bit of a little table dabble in the Q&A here, and then um, we'll do the rest in on the Patreon. And there's a huge surprise, something very new and exciting um, that will be debuted on the Q&A part of the Patreon only me inspiration. But it's going to be really good. I don't care that you're on the phone. She just wrote on phone. Okay. Don't care <laughs> like why would i care bitch <laughs> um anyway um i went up in an uh my first private jet of many to come I'm, i i felt very at home on it i nunchucked i fingered myself in the bathroom which is uh when that means you get that's a getting to um joining the middle school high High club, the junior high club, junior mile high club. <laughs> I'm good at puns. I smoked weed today. See, this is why you don't smoke weed. You can't get your puns out fast enough and everyone hates you. Um, oh, my new title. This is my new title. Um, hello, everybody. It's me, your leader, Annie Letterman, the queen of receiving unsolicited pictures of your peen. It's me, the cutest girl of the mall of the mall. Of the mall, the cutest girl of the mall, you guys. Do you like it? I shot guns. I got a couple of the Pidgeys. Um, I wasn't great at it, but I, I could be. You know, you have that feeling where you're like, I could get good at this if I try. So I'm going to keep going, get good, and uh, keep shooting clay discs out of the sky. And OJ Simpson, if you guys saw that clip do you guys watch my things it's like i put effort in I'm not like little esther i don't just throw things out there i do it got another covid test it's so fun i like when they jam it up my nose um i'm always like about to test positive for special k <laughs> um about to test positive for horse tranquilizer but um yeah it's fun sometimes there's a little adderall in there for them it's a great time. Now, went up in a plane with some friends, COVID tested. People want to know where I went. I'm not comfortable telling you. It's none your business. And oh, look who's calling. What's going on? You scared the shit out of me. You were scared? Because I said, call me. And you said on phone. And I said, don't care. Put it up to the mic. I thought you had fucking COVID. I have to tell you something. Wouldn't that be funny if I did it on my podcast? I told you I could. I'm going to kill you. No, COVID will. Don't care? What's... Don't... When you because you said on phone. If I say don't care... That means, like, I don't care. You have to call. No, it said I don't care that you're on the phone. I've never cared when you're on the phone. Oh, my God. I was literally on a call. and What was the call? I was talking to Billy about Saturday. On the street. I can't believe that you don't have COVID. You better fucking have COVID. Listen, if I have COVID, it's it's working very cute on me. I don't, there's no, I have no symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> I have the cutest COVID. I'm just like getting cuter. My boobs are getting bigger. I was just going to say your boobs do seem bigger. I mean, look at them right now. No, yeah, yesterday they were delicious looking. It's 
Esther, are you coming out to me? <laughs> my podcast. <sighs> I can't get over how mad I am at you right now. Well, do you want to know why I was why I was calling you? Yeah. I want you to tell everyone what you said I dress like. What did I say? I'm going to give you a hint. Okay. I can't see. I What did I say? A Disney princess? Oh my God, that's so funny. You're so, you're hitting on me. <laughs> what, tell me. If what someone I'm... was alive. Oh, yeah. You dress like John JonBenet Ramsey if she was like. A grown up, but. But still had, was still something really bad happened, <laughs> but not fully died. <laughs> like if they gave me, if the, they had like done the Heimlich successfully. It's more like if they. If they exhumed her body and then gave her, like, human growth growth hormone, (laughs) this is so mean. Please don't cancel me. It's just a joke. I feel bad for her. You won't get canceled. I'm literally wearing a crown pretending I'm Jean Bonnet. (laughs) Guys, let's say it's Sam Triplett to start this rumor that I'm Jean Bonnet. You're Jonathan Bonnet. Oh, my God. I'm John Bidet. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I just really liked that and I feel like she would be the same sort of like a little bit like because she was sexualized so young that she would be like for sure dressed like a like a mall ho. I just can't believe that you don't have COVID. I still can't move on from that. I mean, it's not I don't have the results back in yet, but I don't think I do. (laughs) If you ever text me that again, I'm going to kill you. I would write you I have COVID. I wouldn't wait. Okay, that does make me feel better that you would just say it. Yeah, I don't... I have too many people in my life who are like, call me, it's serious. And what is it about ever? They're like, we're worried. You you smell like potatoes. <laughs> no, it's it's like, it's it's always nothing. They're like, we need to talk to you. This is an intervention. <laughs> Your tie dye looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your dandruff is all over the couch. Is that tie dye or dandruff? We can't tell. What's going on? Today, my friend told me my tie-dye is actually really good because it's the kind of tie-dye that when you spill on it, it doesn't look like a stain. It just looks like more tie-dye. Honestly, you should just be like, I've been cleaning up my own like (laughs) kitchen with this rag. I feel like people would spend more money on it. You get those real freaks buying it. (sighs) Oh, my God. When you made the yellow one and I was like, you know, it looks like donut (sighs) peed on it when it was crumpled up and then you unfolded it. What about the red one? The red one looks full periods dance. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make tie with your period blood. I mean, I bet you do. You heard it here first. Esther is trying to wear me as a jacket. It's really. <laughs> that's the only way she's getting inside me. As if her full body goes inside my skin. So we're getting our test results back. And if you we don't see us. Them. What? I'm stressed out that we haven't gotten them. It's like we just took the test. She's so impatient. Esther has this illusion that she has any control over anything (laughs) ever, and she has nothing. It's so true. Are you, how are you feeling knowing that I'm going to leave, I might be leaving town for one whole month? Oh my God, there's a scary bug on me. Oh my God. Do you want to talk about it? Uh, Let's wait till we're in person. Because it's very cool. Let's wait till we're in person because we're going to be in person. Okay, so I'll just tease it. Esther may have a very cool job that she would have to be like quarantined and COVID tested for. It's not that cool. but they- It's actually so cool, but you have to remember we're comedians, so what we think is cool is trash. But, <laughs> but it's also not trash. It's actually really fucking cool. And if I, I would be bragging so much about it if it was me. But I also brag about very little things like. But also you have like a super successful podcast. Like this podcast is blowing up. That's like. You heard it here first. And that reminds me, subscribe. And that reminds me, hang up on Esther. Guys, and that reminds me, I am tanking my own podcast. No, but subscribe. Also, um, I'm a little behind on the posting the audio. But if you guys want to give an iTunes thing. Do yeah, the stars or whatever. My favorite, if you guys are wondering what my favorite um, review ever was, like, don't for a joke, give me a low review. Like, if you hate me, you can give me a low review. But if you really like me and are trying to, like, troll me, don't give me a low review. But I will tell you the best review I ever got was one star. Wait, 
Were you molested? Oh my God. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> it's so um, hilarious. All right. Okay. Is that it? Do you have anything else? Pop- I can hear my popcorn delivery coming from the stairwell, so I have to go. It's Is Donut day. delivering it on her back? Did you make like a little, like a, like a thing on her back where she can carry a bowl? <laughs> and it breaks her back because she's so little. You're like putting her into like weird child labor. Oh my God. Okay, Jonathan Binet, I'll see you next time. Jonathan Bidet Ramsey right here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that was fun. Little munchkin. But she may be gone for a month, so we'd have to stock up on joint episodes. Um, went up in an airplane. Can't I don't want to tell. Everyone keeps saying it's white privilege for me to be nunchucking in an American flag top and sweatpants, muffin topping underneath the sweatpants. But you can the essence of muffin top is there. And that's what I like. I want you guys to. I want you to feel the fertility. I want you to feel how those eggs are juicy and they're ready, Uh, but they will be frozen because the rest of me is not ready. Even though I could rock a kid, I would be a good mom. I would be a good mom. The kid would, uh, I put him right to work. All right. He'd be making Esther's clothing for her company. (laughs) Um, But went up in this plane, people were like, it's white privilege. This is white privilege. I'm like, what? First of all, someone was like a no mask. I was like, we were COVID tested. And then people are like, oh, all these rich people bragging. I'm like, they're free in California, by the way. Just I'm sorry. Everyone thinks California sucks. There's a couple perks called the ocean, the mountains. Sometimes they're burning and the fucking free COVID tests. Okay, so whatever. Talk shit on California if you want. Move to Texas. But COVID tests are free. Um. So go up on someone goes, this is white privilege, but so white person, I'm not white. People are not allowed to talk to me about white privilege. Okay. If you're going to make me feel guilty about my whiteness, you better be a person of color and I will take all colors. You just can't be Caucasian. All right. Anything. Are you Maori? Talk to me. Stomp over here and tell me how I'm privileged. I can't think of any other fun ones. Are you Native American? <laughs> I don't know. Tell me, tell me what's up and I'll listen. All right. But I went up in this plane. Everybody wants to know where I went. Okay. I got some choices. I went to visit Rogan. That's A. Okay. We went hunting, we shot guns. Maybe there'll be a podcast released later on that we did, possibly. Number two, I went to Chappelle's place in Ohio, but I didn't want to be pictured in anything because I didn't want Whitney to get jealous. Three, wait, was I doing A, B, and C? And then I started doing one, two, three. You were doing numbers. Okay, three, I met some pilots the comedy store and they needed to go up and test out the flight. So they gave me the old 45 minute hangout on a, on a plane where you go pretty much just go up and then you land, but you can nunchuck on it. Four. I've been rich the whole time and my dad owns a plane. I was just pretending to be white trash to break it in Hollywood. But the whole time, (laughs) I've been lying about it. I'm from a very wealthy family and my daddy pays for everything. So comment below what your answer would be. Comment below what your answer is. Five. Whitney chartered a jet. For us to take pictures in. But she had diarrhea. So she wasn't in any of the pictures. She chartered a jet so we could do an official WAP dance in the air. But it's being edited and it'll be out later. So tell me. One, two, three, four, five. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You pick one of those. Tell me below which one it was. And maybe I'll tell you the answer. Maybe you'll never know. And it's choose your own Annie adventure. 
Okay. Let's get to questions. Todd, can you think of something I did this week that was fun? Hmm. I cleaned. I've been cleaning my apartment and it, guys, this is a, I never tried this before. It's fucking feels great. It feels really good to clean your apartment. I know what I have. I threw out a bunch of shit. I was hanging on to these tattered things with holes in them. It was like pathetic. Clean, throw out your shit. Like have some respect for yourself. I, I was like hanging on to like these wife beaters from Target. By the way, I get, this is a little inside insanity information. I get the boys, boy kid, pedophile style, boy kid. Priest like him. Boy kid section. I go there. I get a boys XL. And then it's nice and cute and tight. And it looks cute on me. As I bubble out of the sides. As I have that armpit muffin top. And, um, but anyway, I was hanging on to like dirty ones of those. When it's like, they cost like $5 at Target. Why am I holding on to these? Do I not respect myself? Uh, my dad is rich. He owns Jets. The Jets. He owns the Jetsons. Tonight, he started the Jetsons. Tonight you're going to go to the comedy store and do I'm going to go to the comedy store. I'm going to try out some stand-up because I do have... We're shooting something at Whitney's on Saturday. Um, and then also I'm doing a show in a baseball stadium in maybe Anaheim, somewhere like that. Where is it? Let me find it, actually. Because this is coming out tomorrow. So if you guys are around, I do think it's sold out, but I don't know what sold out means these days. Um, it is, let's see. Oh boy. Okay. So it's jokes in the outfield. Um, it's this Saturday, September 26th with headliner Neil Brennan. I'm the opener. We just saw him in that uh, Capone movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're watching this Capone. By the way, Tom Hardy overacts, guys. I'm sorry. It's like, and he has two characters. He got two voices. It's just like enough, okay? We're like Tom Hardly. Listen, he's cute. He's got juicy lips. I get it. He banged dudes in college. He's exciting and fun. And he came from, he was a juvenile delinquent too. Like, I like it. I relate to him. I also probably would be a terrible actor. I'm not saying like, but he, there, everyone's like, he's amazing, but it's like, there's someone about something about people like just so excited. It's like Ben Foster in that fucking alpha dog movie. When he takes the shit, he's like, I don't like watching actors thinking they're nailing it. I love that scene. The poop scene. The poop scene. He shits in the middle of the thing. And he's like, Ugh. Can you do an impression? he's got yeah, like, do the, an impression. he's like, Ugh. and he's got like veins and like, Ugh. it's just like, we get it, Ben Foster. You can squeeze, you have squeeze muscles. Like we can all pretend we're taking a shit. That's not like, but it's like, it's just like the smugness of like, I'm going to get an Oscar for this shit. And he didn't, did you? Anyway, Neil Brennan was in that movie. He was just like, played a lawyer. <laughs> I cannot watch my friends in movies. I'm working on a bit about this. I can't watch my friends and acting. Like, I've never seen Billion. Sorry, Soder. I have no fucking clue what your character is. I cannot watch my friends and things because if they're a bad actor, then I have to go to them and then be a bad actor. I have to be like, oh, you're so, you were great. Like, <laughs> I got to go to acting school just to tell you, you got to go back to acting school. Anyway, or you don't have to go back to, whatever. I'm working on the bit. You'll see it at the, in the outfield. Oh my God. Um, I literally just, I just saw Taylor Thomas and got bangs. Sorry. It's, it's a natural girl reaction. You, when someone gets bangs, like it's like <laughs> everything inside you goes like bangs. And you're like, should I get bangs? Should she have gotten bangs? What are bangs? Are bangs hard or easy? And what are you going to do? And bangs, bangs, bangs. You're like, does the carpet match the bangs? You know, sorry. It's just, you have to be shocked by bangs as a girl. Um, Yes. I have ADD. What was I talking about? <laughs> Stream of consci consciousness, baby. You go to other, you go to other podcasts. You want to hear segments. You want to hear well thought out bits. I'm here just going on Instagram. I'm going on Instagram. I, it wasn't on, it just it was up. <laughs> I meant to go. I'm going to the questions. 
And Taylor's well, you have bangs. to look at a few pictures before you actually do the questions. Before I goo the questions? Before you do the questions. Whatever, Tom. Every time I hear dead air now, I just think of YouTube just shoving an ad in that. Oh, little yeah. Space. They're just like, wow, <laughs> she talks really fast and then stops for 20 minutes and then talks really fast. All right, let's go to questions. How, how long have we been going? 37 minutes. 37 minutes. It's so hot in here. I'm sweating so much. I have hyperhidrosis. Like people get, can you tell? It's getting a little wet there. Ew, Todd, don't say it's sexually. It's it sexually. Ew, my sister just got a boner. I'm not paying you this week. If you get a boner, you don't get paid. Um, Your crown's like missing five jewels. Don't talk about Jewel, my favorite acoustic artist like that. Scatter. Don't. She scattered. Oh, my God. That was so funny. <laughs> you guys, I have to. I'll put the link in my bio, but there's a YouTube video of Jewel scatting at it. She was like at the Lilith Fair or something. And she was like, it was the Who Will Save Your Soul song. And she was like everyone wants to sing along with you. Like they've memorized this song. It's your hit song. And another doctor, another dollar is bill, another cheap throw. Right? Like that's what they're waiting to do the thing. And she just starts scatting the entire time for like, it's a 20 minute video of her scatting. And the, the audience is just like, ah, uh, like they've been waiting. This was like the finale. Nobody wants to see you scat bitch. What are those song, those fucking song lyrics? Do an impression of her scatting. Um, uh, it was just like it's so crazy and she's so happy with herself very reminiscent to the shitting scene that i was just talking about it's like she's like i'm killing it but also jewel seems cool we both lived in cars you know she's got good tits i have good teeth it's like we really compliment each other Ah, all right. Questions. It's so hot in here. Anyway. Okay. By the way, this girl just DM'd me and she's like, I used to sit next to you on the bus. She's like, I used to sit next to you on the bus to go to Cedarbrook, my middle school. And she goes, I thought you were the prettiest person I'd ever seen in my life, in real life. And then I was like, I don't think you're remembering this correctly. And I found this picture and sent it to her. <laughs> that's disgusting look at my shoe i looked literally i looked like a less hot version of the middle handsome brother and the lead singer of silver chair i just looked like every boy at that moment it was really great and everyone said i look like grace under fire rep butler it's so funny anyway but that was sweet of her. Question. Sorry, I always forget how to get to them. Okay. Can you afford a wedding dress? I don't want, I don't, that's not a worry of mine. <sighs> Do you get upset if Esther turns down a hang or vice versa? Honestly, I don't care if Esther can hang out or not. Esther will literally send out a hit on me if I don't hang out with her. She's more into me than I'm into her. I'm more balanced. I work on my codependency. But maybe you did see me call her 10 times and not allow her to not pick up. Real quick. You want me to try something different? What? You want me to read the questions to you? That um, way, when you're talking about it, I have another question just bang, okay. right? All right. So do you know how to do it? I think so. And then you go to see all there. There's a lot of them. Ooh, my armpits are so sweaty. I just go through them? Yeah. And then you go to see all to see all of them. But I, th I don't know how long that stays up. Sometimes it goes away. What's the meaning of life? Listen, we're here to die, okay? So that's what we have to remember. We're here to realize when you're a kid, you're immortal. You think you're going to live forever. And then you realize you're going to die. 
Hopefully a little sooner than later you realize that. And then it's about enjoying, expanding, growing, uh, adversity, learning, fucking, fucking. I, you're probably supposed to procreate, but I don't know if I'm going to have kids, so I don't want to put all my eggs in that basket. But it's like it's like learning from your mistakes, growing, what finding what fulfills you, how you can have a positive impact on people. Who would win in a fight? Esther versus Carlos. Um, Carlos would probably win in a fight with Esther if... It wasn't Esther because he's trying to impress her so he wouldn't actually hurt her. He would let her beat him up. But physically, he could crush her. Really, anyone could. Honestly, I, I, if I saw Esther versus an ant, I would still I would be putting my money on the ant. Esther is a small child could beat up Esther. Esther is a tiny little munchkin. And um, she does. I have been getting a lot of DMs from people being like, you're bullying her. You're being too mean. I'm like, she's faking. She's a fucking actress. Don't fall for her manipulative ways. She's a fucking liar. She's not hurt. Fuck, Mary kill. Little Esther. So boring. Whitney or Amanda Cerny. Fuck, Mary kill. All right. I'd marry. Oof. I don't know who has more money. Esther's dead, obviously. Um, so we'll just get that one out of the way. Um, I crushed her under my shoe. I just stepped on her. I just I flicked her and she died. Um, would I fuck or marry Amanda or Whitney? I think I would fuck um, Amanda and I would marry. Oh, it's really a toss up. I mean, Amanda has, you can like, when, if Amanda and I got married and we got divorced, she would have to give me half of what she has, which means I would get half of 25 million followers. <laughs> Do comedians feel the need to fake laugh when they are around other comedians? There's a thing when you're performing at an open mic or a show with like a lot of comics in it where you'll hear this honk laugh in the back. I fucking hate it. And I will call it out and yell at it every time. It's a fake supportive laugh. Like I fucking need that. I don't if I listen, I do comedy because it's a risk and it's that's fun. It's like I call comedy an ocean job. OK, it's like. There's ups and downs, peaks and valleys. You're, sometimes you're on top of the wave. Sometimes you're getting dragged to the bottom. I don't want a land job where I know how things are going. I How I know whether things are good or not is bombing. I would rather bomb than have comics in the back going, huh, huh. I hate that. But I mean, if you're friends with someone, you usually think they're funnier than they are, right? I don't fake laugh, though. I think that's why people like me because I, I have like Asperger's and I can't do it. Favorite survivor contestant ever. <sighs> Guys, I don't want to sound like a hack, but I love Boston Rob and Parvati. And I know that these last episodes just haven't been. I love Ozzy. Like, I like the hits, the people that really moved me as a kid. Um, Favorite, though, of all time. I love, listen, I'm boys with Jervis. I love Jervis from um, Gervais from the first episode, first season, and then he did Blood versus Water. He's so funny. Him and Tyson make me laugh so fucking hard. Um, oh, Todd, who's your favorite? Am I forgetting who my favorite is? I love, I met Parvati once on a plane and I was weird with her. I went like, oh my God, I, I went like, you're a queen. Like it was like really embarrassing and disgusting. And, um, I like that little Asian man tie that Sia oh, yeah, gave like great. 50 grand to for never killing the chicken. Was Ty not to be like Asian blind and pick the wrong Asian, but there were two, uh, older Asian men. One was gay and one was straight. Oh, he was the gay one. And he the basketball the player used to lift him in the tree. To get the coconut. Oh, Caleb? <laughs> no, the basketball player. He was like uh, Scott, I think his name was. Oh, yeah. But I remember Caleb loved him. Caleb, who was also and a big brother. he used to lift Ty into the tree. And then Ty turned on Scott and voted him out. I don't remember. Wait, who's Scott? This is what I do. I half watch them so I can rewatch them. I've seen every season twice. I have my CBS All Access Pass. I pay um, $5.99 a month. And it's so worth it. I've also been watching the live feeds of Big Brother, which is really fun. Because you can try to catch them jerking off. And you can always tell if they have the pillow up. If they have their pillow perpendicular. And um, is that perpendicular? 
Perpendicular is like meeting at a right angle. Yeah. Okay. With the blanket, it's perpendicular. I don't know. Todd's not smarter than me, by the way. So it's you're not getting very much information here that can be counted on. What do you think but happened? Oh, there was the other guy that gave dreams. The homeless kid. The um. Can I just tell you, I have to just come clean right now. I have been trying to look at the camera as though I'm looking at you. So people don't go like, she's just looking at herself, but I am looking at myself, but I've been looking at myself more because I want to, I want to trick them into thinking I'm looking at you, but then I actually look at you. And then it looks like I've been spending like 99% of my time, but it's really just because I was trying to cheat you guys. And I'm not really a liar and I'm not good at lying. So I'm just going to come out with it. I've, I've been looking at myself, but I'm going to look more at Todd. And we all, you know, it's just a reflection of ourselves, everyone anyway, so. All right, here's a good one. Okay. What do you think happens when we die? Okay, I think, um, what happens when we die? Well, I think we fizzle out into energy. I think it feels very good. Like, like if an orgasm was like at its peak forever, and I'm not trying to be like gross and sexual, like just really honestly, that feeling, like the feeling of like bliss and fizzling out when I did DMT, I, I felt like I died. I'm like, it was so real that I'm like, it has to be what happens. So I think you fizzle out into energy, but I also feel like, you know, like you're a part of your, my consciousness isn't in my family members, but we are in each other's DNA. So if I have kids, I feel like they'll carry me along. And does that? Yeah. I believe in like the immortal theory, but you know, well, I watched a thing last night where it was like, it was saying, um, that you are like the only, that you have this specific type of DNA and like with a computer or wait, was it with a computer? what did they say? It was like a download and just because yes. Okay. So it's like a download, like sent out onto a computer. And then if your computer dies, that doesn't mean that the message isn't there. So that when you die, when your body dies, like you're waiting there, but you need the perfect um, DNA to come around again. And then that message starts getting downloaded again. So I maybe you get reincarnated, but it'll be like, you know, in a hundred years or something when someone with the same DNA. Now I'm self-conscious that you guys are looking at how much I'm looking at myself, but I don't care because it doesn't fucking matter. I'm the cutest girl at the mall. What would you name your kids if you had any? Brody. I would name my kid Brody if it was a girl or a boy. And they would just have to deal with it. 818 till I die. How small is too small? Asking for a friend. Listen, I hooked up with a guy with a micro dick. I have fucked him several times. Okay. I went back. You can still get pussy. All right. There's people that are confused about it. I went back like it was like a science experiment. I was like, well, let's see what the hell this fucking sitch is. And, um, I couldn't, I didn't believe that it was that size. I couldn't, it was like two number two pencil erasers fused together. Very tiny. It was very suctiony. I was very confused. Nice guy. Very nice guy. Very good at Oral sex, very good at going down on girls because he has to be. They, everyone, just listen. There is no too small for me, maybe, but not for everyone. You can find, you got to find a girl with a tiny puss. What was the best or worst toilet you've used slash been to or even seen? So the best toilet and then your worst toilet you've ever well, seen. Well, any porta potty is terrible like any porta potty is just hor- like when you pee and you can literally hear it hitting the shit pile of strangers and if it's at like a music festival and you're like oh my god these are all like molly shits people are taking this is so gross people are like chugging red bull and just fucking blasting out their ass and then your pee is there and you have to like try to stand up so much that you're not like gonna it's not gonna ricochet back up it's just it's just the worst experience ever and um the best bathroom um I really like bidets, not just because I'm Jean Bidet Ramsey, but uh, if you have a seat warmer, the the coolest thing I would say, the coolest toilets, public toilets are the ones at the Chicago airport, at the O'Hare airport. They have the seat covers and it's like warm and nice, but 
a bidet. I think in Japan, I would really enjoy myself. I would really enjoy taking some S's in P public. How do you get your armpits so smooth? I don't. My armpits aren't smooth. I have five o'clock shadow every time I shave my armpits. I've been using, because I get razor burn on my um, penis area, um, my upper penis area and side penis area. So I've been trying to use men's razors and I've been exfoliating. I've been using products and I didn't get razor burn this last time. So um, those have been making my armpit the hairs go closer, but you know, the sweat, they're really a nightmare. I know this is an armpit fetish guy cause they're out there too. And I haven't started blurring these yet. I will maybe start to have to, but the problem is my armpits are so sweaty that I can't cover them. So I would have to be blurring everything I do. If I were to be wearing a sleeve, there would be just like a wet spot, like all the way around. It started in fourth grade. I just started profusely sweating from my armpits and it's just gone like that forever. There's some things certain dry you can use that dry up your armpits, but it just feels like you're giving yourself breast cancer and I just don't want it. I'm not into it. Even though when my friend did get diagnosed, I shaved my nipples in solidarity. Um, but I'm just not interested in being a, that type of breast cancer having bitch. And, um, I, you can get Botox for it, but I'm not ready for my armpits to not be able to express themselves. I feel like they're my expressive area. Uh, but anyway, I can't, there's just, just sweaty McPitts. They called me. That was my nickname in high school and, um, easy McFist. (laughs) Just kidding. (laughs) Would you rather watch your parents have sex once every day forever? Or join join in once. I would watch my parents have sex once every day forever because that would be like great. I'd be so happy for them. It's such a healthy sexual relationship. I do believe my parents don't bang anymore. So that's like would be so insane. It would be such a zero to hero situation for them just because I, I don't know. I just I think they're friends, you know, but um, not my business. And I don't need to bang my parents. I came from them banging like we honestly we technically have all had the ultimate threesome with our parents. And that is that of conception. I had a foursome, actually. I've never had a threesome with my parents. I've only had a foursome because I have a twin. Wow, guys. We were there. We were there. We nutted through. We nutted through. We've been, we were there for the friction. (laughs) What's your favorite type of bagel? Uh, My favorite type of bagel, I enjoy a donut. Over bagel. No, bagels, I don't know. I don't care. Um, Egg bagel, just because it reminds me of Philly, because you can't really get egg bagels. And it's saying egg bagel is very Philly. Egg bagel. Over easy eggs. Over easy eggs on my egg bagel. And I'll eat it on my roof. Um, On my way home, down the street from over there. These guys. All right. Let's do one more. Um, Some guy said, I just moved to the city. I'm so bored. What are some things that I should do? Well, um, what are some things you should do? That's interesting. Um, It's COVID, bruh. I don't know. No, go to more and more clay pigeons. Shoot some fucking clay. That's so fun. It's outside. You feel safe. Um, Everything's like wiped down and nice. And, um, I don't know. You should try to get like a rich friend to hang out at their house. That's been getting me through COVID. Go to, um, the beach that's outside. Get crab legs. I do that as often as possible. Um, You can go to the comedy store is going to start having comedy outside in the parking lot. I'm going to do it through the window today, but we're going to get the outdoor permit soon this next week, I think. So I would go hang out there, wear your mask, be safe. If you have fucking symptoms, stay inside. Do not get us sick. Do not get us sick. All right. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think I was doing in that personal jet. Oh, also, I have to tell you, I left my keys in the fucking airplane. I left my keys in the airplane. Do you understand? Like someone was in another state and was like, 
did you leave your Honda keys? Like my ADD, once I went to NASA, I got, when I was doing um, Rooster Teeth Feathers Comedy Club up in Silicon Valley, this guy hit me up, which by the way, if you still watch this, I don't remember, I, I lost your handle. Hit me up. I want to go back to NASA. That was so nice of you. Thank you so much. But this guy, um, an insanity, one of the OGs, uh, showed me around NASA and it was really fun and really cool. And I left, I lost my keys. I had to go through NASA and then go back through NASA. You know how embarrassing it was? I did a whole tour interview, met all these people. And then I had to go back and be like, do you know where my kids, like the most brilliant minds. And I'm like, I have early onset Alzheimer's because if I smoke weed, I fucking lose everything. I have ADHD. I fall asleep when I read. It was just like, if they had shown me secret stuff and made me sign, it's like, you don't need to make me sign an NDA. I just made them confident that they didn't need to worry about an NDA with me. But I left my keys on the flight. So um, the plane has landed today. So I'll get my keys. But it's like the ultimate it's the ultimate leaving your stuff behind. That's so embarrassing. Do you know how many guys I hooked up with that? I was so, I would tell you about 90% of the guys I've hooked up with. I would unfuck in 10 seconds. I would do anything done. Like they were, none of it was good. Um, I very rarely, especially when I was drinking would hook up with a guy that I wanted to see again, but I have fucking ADD. I remember one guy, I hooked up with this guy in New York right before I quit drinking. And um, I woke up in the morning again, allergic to so many different foods, like, and drinks and substances. So my stomach, I woke up like fully having to diarrhea and I'm like, I can't believe I'm waking up next to this fucking dork. So I like run out of the building as fast as I can also have to take a shit. I'm like, holy fuck. And then, um, he yells down. He's like, he goes, you left your earrings. And I was like, keep them forever. They're yours. And then I ran to my friend Sean's. I called Sean and I was like, Sean, leave your door unlocked. I have to take a fucking shit. And I ran into like four people from college in Santa Fe and on the streets of New York. It was fucking crazy. I kept running into people. I was like, I gotta go. I'm about to shit myself. Like ran, 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 ran straight into my friend's house, right into the door, let it out. That was the second to last day I drank. And I've shit my pants many times since. So drinking wasn't the problem. <laughs> but anyway, I left my keys like a fucking thirsty bitch trying to get a second date. And um, there you have it. All right, guys, sign up for the Patreon if you want to hear the rest of the Q&A. And um, also we do our $20 holler, which is um, I try to do at least once a week a um, hangout with my $20 patrons. It's really fun. Last time a girl showed us her tits. It was great. It's a very, very, very fun time. And um, we will welcome you with open arms if you want to join it. And also for $5, you get the episodes early and the Q&As and some extra bonus stuff here and there. Um, so join the Patreon and um take care have a good week um don't get covid Go, go, go.